Well, hello, hello, everybody. We are here. It's been a whole week, man. Well, actually, two weeks, because we didn't have it last week. So it's been quite a while since we've streamed, so... We are here, the day before Easter. Although I know for some people, it actually already is Easter, depending on where you live, so... But yes, yes, I, uh, it took me a bit to lug all my stuff down here because when I was, uh, I think I was making dinner yesterday, a glass cup fell and it landed on my foot. It was like one of those big heavy mason ones, like, you know, those mason jar cups. And now I have this huge freaking bruise on my foot. It's not the prettiest thing to look at, but I can walk, so. But anywho. <laughs> Uh, Cyberman has been a member for 17 months and said, Hey Katori, got to see Kung Fu Panda 4 today. It was awesome. Also, 17 months by your side. What an honor it is as I gently kiss your hand and say you're cool. Well, thank you, Cyberman. I appreciate you thinking I'm very cool. Um, but no, that's cool. Yeah, I, I heard that was coming out and stuff. I saw the commercial for it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, Hello, Katori. I'm glad to talk to you again. I miss talking to you. I know. I'm sorry I couldn't be here uh, last week, y'all. It was, um... Oh, dang. The message is, uh, covering up the chat. Hold on. I, I moved it when I was setting up stuff. Hold on. On the screen. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Move this up here. Grant, it's really hard to read. Hold on. Maybe I can fix the properties. Hold on. Uh... Properties? Can I... Font size... Opacity... Here it is, background opacity. Turn that up just a wee bit. There you go. Now it's be easier to read. Okie dokies. Alright, let us see. Holy smokes, what are they doing up there? Sorry, I don't know, my fan must be moving a bunch of heavy stuff. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. It was like dead quiet like five minutes ago. My gosh. But anyways, um, I hear it love. We got some Kofi donations. Let's go on Kofi. I know it's been a while. It feels weird. It's a lot. A lot has happened over the past week. A lot has happened. Um, mainly just busy work. Um, I made some violet jelly. That was cool. Except I didn't add enough pectin. So it's more like a violet syrup. So I'm kind of sad about that. Um, anything else? Uh, Actually, for in the audio, uh, if you guys listened to the most recent one, the story about getting the distilled water off a high shelf and having to ask someone to get it for me, that was actually true. <laughs> that actually happened to me. I, actually, I can tell that story in a minute, but here, let me read this. Uh, Cyberman donated and said, Happy early Easter, Katori. Hope you're doing well. I made two fan arts, one from last week of the bar maiden. Um, oh, you mean the bard. The bard. Oh, oh maybe... Oh no, maybe it's Barmaiden, sorry. And this week for Easter, uh, hope you like. Also, will we ever have a game night someday? We'd love to play Apex with you. Yeah, I know, it's been so busy recently. I have, I mean, I'm just lucky to do what I can, but I would love to do more game nights. That'd be super fun. Um, hopefully we can soon. And I always say soon, and I don't know when soon is, but. Oh, thank you for the fine arts, uh, Cyberman. Those are really cute. I like the Easter eggs. It's always fun. Easter's always fun. It's always fun to do Easter egg hunts on Easter. Even if, like, no matter how old you are, it's just kind of fun to search for eggs and get candy. Thane donated and said, Hello, Katari. I hope you are well. Also, I hope you won't mind, but quick shout out to Cyberman, Airy, and Egret for watching my girlfriend's streams. Oh, that's awesome! That makes that makes her very happy. Thank you. She is, by the way, in the chat as, uh, Elana. Oh, cool! Elana? Am I pronouncing that incorrectly? Elena? Elena. Alina, I'm probably butchering it, but hello, hello, welcome, welcome, and congratulations on streaming. Streaming, getting, well, getting, getting the stream in working order is always a, a lot of hard work, but once you get in the swing of it, it's pretty fun. <laughs> oh yeah, and thanks for liking the new background. I thought, like, I don't know, it was the day before Easter, and... I was looking through all of my, um, just like my files that I have, and I forgot that I made this. I actually made it for, um, I thought, oh, that'd be cool to like do like having, like, we all kind of like have a cozy date night, like, you know, just like to hang out or whatever. And so I made this, um, background and I never used it because I never like did anything with it. And, um, so I thought, oh, like this would be cute to use like the day before Easter, just kind of like a cozy night in and whatever, you know, I... 
I totally forgot I had this, so I thought it'd be fun to use, you know, just to kind of, you know, we didn't have a stream last week, so just kind of to make the stream a little more fun, <laughs> even though it's just a background. Ah, uh, let's see. Wicked Penguin has been a member for 16 months and said one more week, Katori. Oh no, April Fool's Day is coming up. Man, I, just, I still don't know what I'm going to do for that. Uh, Ty Marshall uh, has been a member for 17 months and said, 17 months and counting. Hope you and the fam tour are having a good day. Sadly, I got a cold and had another near-death experience. Happy Easter. Oh my gosh, Ty. You gotta be careful. But yeah, happy Easter to you too. Um, I, uh, yeah, we we're doing good. Busy. I mean, it's just been, it's just been busy. Honestly, um, you know, uh, you know, not getting too much detail about my bro because I don't know what he wants to be sharing, but he went under, under a uh, procedure where he had to get some stitches and so he's not feeling the best. So that's been a bit hard. You know what I mean? Like seeing your brother in pain just really isn't the best thing. But we're doing things to keep him up in his spirits. So, you know, um, he's doing all right. Just a bit uncomfortable. Um, at least at least today he was. I know in the beginning. It's it's just, it sucks. I don't know what that... Anyways, it's, it's I, could, I could go on and on. But like the way they told him to bandage it, it's kind of ridiculous. And like they're, they're, all the bandages ir irritate his poor skin. But I, I don't know. But anyways, um... But any, but but what I did decide to do today to kind of like make Easter more fun is I've um, I made purple lemonade, which basically is just lemonade and you just add the, it's it's a, it's like a blue tea. It's called like blue butterfly pea tea. It's actually a variant of a pea plant. I'm pretty sure because it's called pea tea. But um, uh, you add that to the lemonade, it makes it purple. So I did that. I'm making a blueberry cake. So we're gonna have a bunch of purple stuff tomorrow, which I don't know how I'm gonna get all that done today and tomorrow, but. Uh, I started on the blueberry, uh, stuff today. I cooked down a bunch of blueberries because you gotta get all the water out, otherwise the cake will, won't cook right, so. You know, we're just keeping busy while we're also busy. Indeed, indeed. Crimson Phoenix has been a member for two months and said, Oh, hey, it's been two months already. Also, I kind of thought that the story of you being too small to get water was true when I heard it in the video. <laughs> yeah, it is true. I um, I guess I'll just... Basically, it's the same story that's in the audio. It's not much different. But, um, yeah, I I was stopping. Uh, it was me. It was just me and my sister. We were driving um, home, and I uh, my, my mama asked me to pick up some stuff, so... We needed some distilled water and so we went to the aisle that has all the water and i don't know why but they put all the distilled water like on a shelf that's like ungodly high like not even like you know like oh like ah ha ha i'm sure i have to go on my tippy toes but no like this was like a shelf that shouldn't even be a shelf and it actually said like on the shelf like ask for assistance and i'm like like, and so I'm looking around, there's like no workers around, like no one's there. And I'm just like, what am I? So we decided to circle around to get some other stuff. And while I was getting other stuff, um, I was, you know, I was walking down the main, the main aisle and then someone else was coming out. So our carts kind of like, you know, like you do that thing where you kind of go and then you stop and then they go, kind of go and they stop. And so, um, this is dude, we kept, but he's like, oh no, no, you go, you go. And I was like, okay, thanks. And so we were, I, I started to pass him up and then I was like, wait, I'm like, actually, I'm like, can you, can I ask you for a favor? And then he was like, looking all weird at me like, uh, okay. I'm like, can you, um, I'm like, I'm ungodly short. I'm like, and so please go for us. I said, if you don't want to, I just ask because I noticed you're tall. And he's like, whoa, that sounds like a quest. He's like, okay. And so <laughs> he went and got it for us, which was kind of funny. So yeah, I don't know. I guess it made our grocery experience a little more interesting than usual. But yeah, true story. Not really much different from what I explained in the video, but it's just kind of funny. I thought it was so funny. He's like, it's like, it was like, oh, like a quest? And I'm like, sure, like a quest. I guess getting two maidens some water from a high shelf. And it was so hilarious. When he went there, he was like, oh, right here? And he just like, he didn't even have to reach. He just like grabbed it. He, he was like really extremely tall. I, I couldn't even, I don't even know whoever's taller than me like I can't really even understand like what height they are but like he was extremely tall because he just grabbed it like you know I expected he would have to reach a bit like you know maybe even like go up on his tiptoes but nah he just grabbed it like whatever it was hilarious <laughs> I was like oh my gosh I really am small um anyway sorry uh Smee Smee's been a member for 17 months and said hey little big boss <laughs> I love that nickname 
Hey, little big boss. Good to hear you. See you alive and well. Got my Wi-Fi back. Gaming PC is set up. Life is grand. <gasps> Congratulations, Mr. Smee. Mr. Smee got his Wi-Fi back and a gaming PC. That is fantastic. I'm glad for you, Mr. Smee. I'm very happy for you. Um, I believe me, I, 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 uh, I heard that your internet was out and like that is never fun. So I'm really glad you got it back. Very, very glad. Uh... Jay donated and said, saw the Renaissance Festival last week. Oh, <gasps> there was a Renaissance Festival? Bro, I wish I went. Saw jousting and ate turkey legs, but also I'm moving to Ohio with friends in two months. Real nervous. Merry Easter. <gasps> oh, congratulations, Jay. Coming to good old Ohio, where the weather is always unpredictable. But, you know, I mean, I was going to say we got Cedar Point, but isn't Cedar Point in Michigan? Actually, where is Cedar Point? I think Cedar Point's in Michigan. No, it's in Ohio. Okay. I know it's just like really, really far north. I couldn't remember. It's like by Erie, like like Erie. So yeah, you know. I don't know. Well, you, you're staying at Ohio State, so you're going to be probably more in Columbus. But hey, all the world's there. That's a really cool place to visit. Oh, and yes, thank you for the announcement, Mr. Smee. If anybody, if you get kicked, please come back in. We're still streaming for some reason within the first 10 minutes or 15-ish minutes or whatever. The first half of the stream, YouTube likes to kick people out. I don't know why. I looked up everything you possibly could look up as to why that's happening, and I still don't know. And it's still happening to this very day. It's probably been about, like, two years that this has been going on. So, but yes. But yes, happy Easter to you too, Jay. I hope you have a wonderful Easter tomorrow. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, how are you doing anyway, Katori? I'm doing good. As I said, I'm busy on top of busy, but I'm I'm doing good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm finally getting around to planning uh, a vac another vacation for my fam because, you know, uh, it's been a pretty, it's, 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 it hasn't been a bad year. It's just been a bit of a stressful year. So I know that, you know, doing something that's a bit more relaxing or fun would be nice for everyone. Um, so... I'm just trying to get all that together. So that's try <laughs> that's a bit... Uh, planning vacations is always stressful because you're always trying to have make sure dates line up and stuff like that. But um, no, I can't. I mean, other than just the usual stuff, you know, I'm just... I'm keeping busy, but also, um, you know, also trying to enjoy the Easter season by making blueberry cake and purple lemonade as I would do any other year. <laughs> Garrick Anderson donated and said, Big news! I just found out Spongebob themed rest a Spongebob themed restaurant is in the works. We're finally gonna have a crab or we're finally gonna have a Krabby Patties to eat. Yeah. Wait. Like where? Like is this at hold on. Is this like in like Universal or something? Or is this uh where is this at? Oh, is it called the Rusty Crab? This it's themed to open in... Wait, Nickelodeon Spongebob Squarepants is getting a themed restaurant in Brazil? Is that seriously the only place? Oh, come on, there has to be someone. There has to be a one here in America, please. I have to, like... I have to visit it. I have to visit it. What about this place? This kind of looks like it. Anyways, I'm gonna go down... A I'll go down the rabbit hole later, but that's really cool if there is one here. I will definitely go visit it. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, Anyway, I have much fun to talk- I have much- Wait, I really have much to talk to you about last week. Oh, well, what did you do last week, Mr. Wanapon? What adventures did you have? Do, do. Actually, let me check back. Uh, I, oh, we have a few Kofi donations too. Here, I'll read this one and then I'll, we'll switch over to Kofi. Am I cutting out? Gosh dang it. Oh no! Am I still breaking up? Sorry, I'm really far behind in chat. Hopefully I'm still, hopefully I'm okay now. Uh, sorry it buffered, that's weird. You know, it was doing that last week too. It was like making things buffer. Hey, let me just, let me get my, uh, let me get my performance up. It doesn't, it doesn't say that it disconnected. I know last time it was disconnecting towards the end, so it hasn't disconnected yet. So maybe it was just a small buffer. So thank, thank goodness for that. <clears throat> Uh, but Mr. Wanapon donated and said, I've seen a video of my wish to an internet idol of mine that he's going to be 30 on the 19th of April? Wait. So someone you know on the internet is going to be 30 in April? The big 
You gain more wisdom when you turn 30, you know? At least that's what I believe. Or maybe you don't. <laughs> Just seems like that's the age where you, like, gain a little bit of wisdom, you know? Let's see. Shogo donated and said, Katori, you should totally run up a tall guy's back like he's a titan next time to grab the high shelf item. Oh my gosh. I don't think he'd have been too happy about that. Also, your blue dress looks exactly like the one from your calendar for your birthday. Same sparkles. Oh yeah, it is It is the same one. Um, uh, the one in the calendar. It's the same anniversary. It's like I bought that dress specifically for like the birthday anniversary thing. So indeed I did use it. Indeed I did. Oh, you mean the dress on this thing? I'm sorry. I'm being stupid. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, it does look very similar, except uh, I think mine has like a thing that goes around my shoulders, I believe. But yeah, no, um, actually originally, the original plan, when we were trying to get the distilled water, I said to my sister, I was like, I'm like, hey, I'm like, do you want me just to like pick you up? I'm like, let me just hoist you up and you grab it. And then she's like, I don't know. I'm like, well, I'm like, well, I'm like, I'm like, well, she, you know, and then I was like, well, why don't you just pick me up? I'm like, I'm not that heavy. I'm like, you just pick me up and I'll grab it. And she's like, eh. I think she was too embarrassed to do it in the store. I'm like, come on. I'm like, I'm like, we can just get it that way. It won't be that hard. But she was like, no. And I was like, fine. So, but hey, you know, I mean, if we did it ourselves, we wouldn't have given that man a quest. Maybe it made his day. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Iron Piedmont donated and said, Happy Easter, Katori. Good to see you're doing well. All, oh, are you excited for tomorrow? Do you have any favorite Easter candy and or food? Um, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. It'll be nice to do some cool things. Um, usually on Easter, we always do the tradition of, like, looking for eggs. You know, just like, um, today we filled eggs up with some candy. And, uh, and since my mom wakes up so early, <laughs> she just wakes up and she hides them. And then when we wake up, we just kind of, like, look for them and see who finds the most. And then uh, we always, and oh, every single year, we always don't find, there's always one egg that is missing. And then we won't find it for, like, month till like, months later. Um, but yeah, we do like an egg hunt and then we usually like, um, have like an Easter, like, liner. Usually like by the time like it's all cooked and done, it's a bit past lunch, but it's not quite dinner yet. Um, so we have like an Easter meal and then, um, yeah, you know, just kind of like, mainly it's mostly a chill day, pretty much. Um, but tomorrow I am planning on, uh, doing some kind of like, some blueberry cake, which I've never made before. So that'll be interesting. I'm hoping it turns out well. I'm also trying out a new frosting, which before I would make buttercream, but I think people are kind of sick of all the buttercream because buttercream is still very buttery. You know, it's like very heavy and I want like a frosting that's not so heavy. So I'm trying out a new frosting that includes Greek yogurt instead. And I think that that'll taste nice since it's blueberries are like a lighter flavor, lighter flavor, I can't speak. So yeah, I'm excited. As far as my favorite Easter candy, I would say it's, Recently, I'd say Butterfingers. I think I had so much Twix <laughs> over the years because that, that was my favorite that now I'm favoring Butterfingers a bit. Um, favorite food for Easter. I don't know. I like chocolate bunnies. Maybe my favorite Easter candy is just a chocolate bunny. But I mean like a good chocolate bunny, not like cheap chocolate bunnies. I mean like those um, Lindor chocolate bunnies, like a dark chocolate chocolate bunny. That's like my favorite. Um, but I like ham. I like ham on Easter. Honestly, some really good cooked green beans, like fresh cooked green beans with garlic is probably one of my favorite things, actually. That might be my favorite thing, like garlic cooked green beans with like potatoes. Like that's my favorite, I think. <laughs> Honestly, that probably is it. Egrich donated and said, here's a semi-unfinished document of a personal community project. Also, happy Easter. Oh, cool. That's awesome, Egrich. Cool, cool, cool. Very professional looking. Got a task force in there. Wicked Penguin donated and said, let's see how long it'll take to fill up this vacation fund. My wager is a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I know last year I put it, I put the fund up like earlier in the year, but things, so many things have been going on that I just, I didn't even think about it. So, I mean, you know, obviously no one is obligated to do so. You know, I just, um, you know, I'm, it's just any, anything that is donated is going towards that. So that's why I set it up. Um, but yeah, I, I think it'll take a bit more than a few weeks, um, Bobby. I don't think it'll fill up that fast. That's kind of crazy. 
Alpha Buck could have been a member for 16 months and said, Hope you and Fam Tori have a great Easter. The new background looks awesome. Also, Mama Tori did a great stream last night. You should be very proud. <laughs> yeah, I know. She was asking us a million questions before she was getting her stream up. And at the time, that was actually around this time that I smashed my foot. So I couldn't walk very well. So she, I was like, listen, I'm like, I can't walk down there. I can't do it. So she was asking the sibs, so. But man, nah, yeah, she she was like asking all these questions and I was like, I thought I explained this to you before. Maybe I should make like a, I should probably make like a, like a, like a, I would say a manual, but it's not really be a manual. It's like guidelines. Maybe I shouldn't like make a tutorial. Cause I guess it is quite a bit. It's quite a bit to, if you don't know what you're looking at, it is a bit confusing. Let me see. But oh yeah, I'm, I'm glad it was a success. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, oh yeah, I almost forgot. My connection to the websites are working again. Turns out when a new broadband was installed, it was set to default. Oh, well, I'm glad you figured out uh, why your uh, internet wasn't working too well. Very good, very good. Whoa, chat flew up real fast. Hold up, hold up. Where did we leave off? Left off on Mr. Wanapon's. Cyberman donated and said, let me rub your poor foot to make it feel better. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a big bruise on it. <laughs> you cannot touch it. <laughs> My foot needs to not be touched. It's like a big purple spot, like on the side top area. So if you rub it, it'll probably hurt really bad. Um, but th thank you for thank you for offering. But no, my foot needs to like sit and not be touched and possibly ice. Granted, it's already bruising. Ah, oh, you know, there's actually a bump. I think there is a bump now that I'm looking at it. I probably should ice it some more. But um, yeah, no, this isn't a this isn't a, a foot rub situation. It's more like if a foot needs to like not be touched by anything. Like I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally bumped my foot into something today because I always I always bump my feet into things. So it's been a rough time. I literally just stand there and I'm like you know you know when you do that thing you like clench your fist and you like taking a deep breath and you're like silent for a few seconds. <laughs> I probably look, look ridiculous. That's what I've been doing today. Jay donated and said, y'all know how to Dougie? Just curious about y'all. Oh, I know how to Dougie. Actually, yeah, I remember, gosh, that was forever ago. I can't remember when I first learned it, but I know like me and a group of friends, I'm not even friends with them anymore. They were like my normie friends. They were like, you know, like, when you make friends and like, you're like, man, like you kind of just making friends to make friends when you're younger. And um, I was like, yeah, I'm like, this isn't gonna last, is it? Not that they weren't nice, but since they weren't like super nerdy, like anything I would talk about, they were like, oh yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, you don't get it. Um, but no, we, they, they learned about the Dougie and they wanted to learn how to do the Dougie. And it was basically the easiest thing to do. And then I was like, why are we, I'm like, why are we doing this? I'm like, what is, like, what is the purpose of the Dougie? They're like, oh, it's from a song or I think it's from a song. Wait, is that right? I'm hopefully not getting this. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, yeah, you're basically like moving your, like, you're like, kind of like, you kind of like go side to side and you're kind of like using like one hand to like do this like circular motion, if I'm correct. Right? Wait, hold on, which way? Oh, gosh, it's been forever. Where's a gif? Okay, there it is. Okay, now I was a little... There it is. Oh man, isn't that a blast from the past? Could I do it now? I I mean, you know, would I want to do it now? <laughs> but no, I have been exposed to the Dougie. I remember, I remember it in my younger years. I think we like practiced it like one day and then we like did it randomly in like my friend's house, like in her hallway area. Cause she had like a hallway area like upstairs. She had a bit of a fancier house. Um, and then, I can't remember, did we record it? I think we did. Oh my gosh, just bringing up memories now. I think we did on, like, my old laptop. <laughs> I think afterwards, my friend was like, okay, like, don't show that to anybody. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't planning to, we look stupid. And I think it's still on there somewhere. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to look for that now, but I think that laptop's shot. I think it's dead. It might still be there. Man. I'll have to look at that later. I'll have to see. <laughs> this is like, this like brought up a whole thing I forgot about. Anyways. <laughs> the Cobalt Coyotes would remember for five months and said, 
Hi, Katori. Happy Easter. I went to Anime Boston this weekend and saw some great cosplays that I want to share with you. Ooh! What kind of cosplays did you see? You know, um, it's always so fun going to anime conventions and seeing, like, a cool cosplay. I'm, you know what, I'm actually, for the first time in, like, forever, which I think, oh my gosh, that's from a song, in the first, the first time in forever. But, um, my favorite Disney princess has always been Ariel, because when I was a kid, I just loved her long hair, and I loved that she was a mermaid, and, regard, I mean, well, I also, okay, Kita, Kita and Ariel are, like, tying here. But anyways, I still loved Ariel, and I'm surprised that I've never cosplayed as Ariel, like, I just never have, like, that's just insane to me, since I've cosplayed so many characters. And I bought a sequin dress recently that was on sale. Um, it's, it's a different one than like the one in the calendar. It's like, but um, it, it looks very similar to the one, like, I don't know if you remember the dress that Ariel has like at the end of, you know, the end of the movie when she comes out of the water and uh, she has like that, like, it's like a blue like gown. It's, it's, it's more like of an evening gown versus like a poofy dress. I always thought that was so pretty when I was a kid and um, and it looks so similar to it. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, this is like literally the dress like when I was a kid that I always wanted. So I bought it and I was like, man, I just gotta go to a reg wig now and I will be ready to go. So yeah, speaking of cosplays, I'll be working on that. So that'll be fun. That'll be real fun. I never thought I'd cosplay Ariel before or Korra, but I guess that's what's happening. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, this week I've also watched Godzilla 2014 Kong Skull Island, Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019, and Godzilla vs. Kong. You know what? A lot of people have been talking about Godzilla recently. I've heard of like, um, did like a new movie of Godzilla like just come out? Or is it just like a thing that's popping up? Because I've heard my um, sister talking about it and I was like, what? I'm like, Godzilla? I'm like, is there like a new Godzilla movie coming out? Which maybe there is. I'm like out of the loop. But no, that's cool. I I've never seen Godzilla. Ty donated and said, love the new layout, the wholesome mansion. <laughs> yeah, you're right, the wholesome mansion, huh? I brought you guys to my mansion. <laughs> but no, thanks, Ty. I'm glad you like it. Oh, Cyberman, thank you for the rose. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, before I watched Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. Oh, so you watched that one first? I didn't know there were so many Godzilla movies. That's really interesting. <laughs> Mr. Wanapon donated and said, as well as Kung Fu Panda 1, 2. Oh, so you've watched a lot. <laughs> you've watched a lot of movies, Mr. Wanapon. But no, I, I, I like Kung Fu Panda. At least 1, 2, and 3. I haven't seen uh, the fourth one, but I do like 1, 2, and 3. Oh, you also said before watch... So you, so you actually... Wa oh, so you watched all the Kung Fu Pandas before you watched Kung Fu Panda 4. Well, you have been very busy, Mr. Wanapon. Very busy last week. Uh, Grim, oh, Grimace would have remembered for 16 months and said, Happy holidays. I didn't get any extra time off, lol. Anyways, hope you're well. Still have you in mind for future business projects, and that's going well, too. Ooh, business projects, you say? Well, Grim, I'm glad that you are still going, keeping busy, and happy holidays to you, too. Um, sorry you didn't get any time off. I, I hope you find some time to rest. And, um, yeah, no, that's super exciting. That's super exciting. Excuse me. That's super exciting, Grim. And I'm glad to hear from you. Because I know you're super busy, so you're not in here all the time. So, thank you for stopping by. They donated and said, I thank the community for being welcoming with GF. <laughs> well, we're a very nice bunch here. At least I like to think so. So I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad everybody's being very nice. Good first impressions. Good first impressions. So we said, that background, are we on a date? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I don't, I think I explained it when I first started this stream. Maybe it got cut off by an ad, but um, originally this was made for like a date night. And then I never did it. And I thought, hey, like this would be kind of cool to use because it's, it was just sitting in my folder, like in my ASMR, like artwork folder. And um, I was like, you know what? We haven't, we didn't have a stream last week. We'll have a little special cozy night and I'll just use this as a background. Why not? Why not? Do, 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 do
excuse me. All right, where did I leave off? Here we are. <clears throat> Garrick Anderson donated and said, you should try cottage bacon. It tastes like it's a combination of ham and bacon. I know it sounds silly that way I described it, but that's what I tasted. Hmm. Cottage bacon. I've heard of Canadian bacon, which I know is basically ham. Um, maybe I'll like it. I just, I just love the taste of bacon by itself. Like, so I, I wonder if like it would be a bit too sweet for me and like it would ruin the bacon taste. But I mean, I also like ham, so maybe I'll like it. I guess it just, maybe I'd, I'd have to be in the mood for like a bit of a ham taste, you know? When I'm craving bacon, I definitely would want bacon. But I, that's not to say I wouldn't like cottage bacon. I've never heard of that. Cottage bacon. I will keep that in mind. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Hold on, I'm just scrolling down making sure I'm not missing any donations. Ty donated and said, bad news. The new Pirates of the Caribbean movie will be a reboot. A what? Why are they rebooting it? They just like move on or like do something new in that universe. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm tired of the reboots. I'm really tired of it. Cyberman donated and said, your dress would go great with the crown I gave you. Oh yeah, you gave me a blue crown, didn't you? Yeah, I probably wouldn't wear it with the aerial cosplay, but it would probably match the dress just by itself. All right here, let me reload on Kofi because I know we got a few Kofi donations. Uh, I think I read this one. Yes, I read this one. Wicked Penguin donated and said, also just made a meme for the occasion of next month. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right, let's see. Shogo donated and said, my mom beat Baldur's Gate and loved it so much. She said it was her favorite video game. Really? She said the ending was so sweet and made her cry. Honestly, yeah. I actually, I actually, I did. Well, I didn't fully finish Baldur's Gate. I finished the last battle and now I'm on to the epilogue. But I mean, man, it was a ride. I that's I guess that's one thing that happened in the week. I finished the last battle of Baldur's Gate. I saw like all the end scenes other than the epilogue. And man, I was feeling the feels. I was like, man, this is like, this ain't it. I am broken inside. Um, but I, I haven't done the epilogue yet because I was too scared. I didn't want it to end. So I haven't done the epilogue yet because I feel like it's gonna break me. So, um, so instead what I did is I made a whole new character for the Dark Urge. So now I'm starting the game again as the Dark Urge until I feel ready to do the epilogue. Um, Cause yeah, like I don't, man, yeah. Cause my, my the, the main character I was playing, I was like, I don't want her story to be over yet, man. So I made a Dark Urge character and that's been kind of fun playing as the Dark Urge, you know, so. Anyway, sorry, I went on a tangent. Let me read the rest of your donation. He said, I was wondering what your overall thoughts are on it and how did you enjoy the ending? You can use this Kofi to talk forever about it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said that cause that's what I've been doing. But um, no, I really enjoyed the ending. I think it was really good. Um. I honestly, one of the final battles, I, I found a way to like literally almost cheese it because I saved so many scrolls. I saved so many like spell scrolls that like I was just like in like, honestly being the owl bear like in the final, one of the final battles, like not the one where like, um, it's not the main final battle, like the second to final. It's like when you first like go into like the castle and there's like um, all the goblins and like uh, elithids there. Um, before you get to the top of the castle um but that one like it was super easy like i was just i was just plowing through people um and like we barely got any damage i mean we used a lot of invisibility potions too i saved up so many potions i spent like i had so much money at the end because i collect i i i was i was a penny pincher i or i basically collected everything any loose armor anything I collected it all at my camp and then right before the final battle, I sold all my armor that I didn't need and um, spent it all on healing potions and scrolls. And so by the end of it all, like I was just, I was just throwing out scrolls and everything, but um, no, the final battle was actually a bit, uh, the final final battle was a bit difficult um, when you're finally battling like the big brain and stuff. So 
um, you know, I won't say too much about the ending scenes in case it's spoilers for people, but, um, no, it was good. I really enjoyed it. And I was like super sad, <laughs> I was super sad, but I loved it. And, um, so I'm saving the epilogue until like, I'm going to play a little bit more of my dark urge. And then I, and then once I feel like I get attached to her as a character, then I think I'll be able to do the epilogue. So I won't feel so lost. <laughs> so that'll be fun. But anyways, yeah, no, I loved it. I'm glad your mom liked it too. I'm trying to get my mama to play it. I, I had her make a character um, on my game just to see what she'd pick. Um, but I, I don't think that game's kind of up her alley, so I don't think she'll play it. But maybe maybe she will. Maybe she will. I don't know. Maybe she will. Grim donated and said, Always fun stopping by to hang out when, it can, when I can. Yeah, it's, it's always fun to see you, Grim. I'm glad, I'm glad you stopped by. <clears throat> but yes, yes. Lonely donated and said, Weekend off for Easter plus cat stream equals W weekend. <laughs> Honestly, it is pretty great to have a weekend right now just to kind of relax during Easter and like not do too much but um, You know, I, I still have a few things still a few pieces of work I have to get done since the end of the month is coming up. I got to be sure I you know submit everything um, But other than that, yeah, I'm excited for Easter and I'm glad you're having a pretty W weekend lonely Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, Penny Pincher, are you secretly Scrooge? I guess I'm not, I guess Penny Pincher isn't the word. I spent a lot of money. I guess it's like, I'm a good scavenger. A penny Pincher was not the right word to use. I was just a good scavenger. I just collected like, you know, like when you loot people and you see a piece of armor and you're like, ah, I already have enchanted armor. I don't need that. I collected it and I always sent it to camp. And then I just sold everything. Like I sold even like the cruddy, cruddy stuff. Like any, any money I could get, any gold was like important, so. So yes, yes. You know? You never know when you're gonna need something, so. Dang it, is there a, oh, there's a little hole in my Anya shirt. You gotta be kidding me. How'd I get this? How did this even happen? Dang it, if I sew it up, then you're gonna see it, like the shirt pucker. Dang it. I hate when there's like a, you know, like a little pucker in the shirt, but it might have to be what it is, because if I don't sew it up, it's just gonna get bigger. Dang it. How'd that even happen? Huh. Well, it is what it is, I guess. But no, um, Bobby, I'm not secretly Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> uh, let's see. Garrick Anderson donated and said, I saw a funny piece of artwork the other day. It was a picture of Amon and he was about to take Bender's bending. Wait. He was about to take Bender's bending how, how he's supposed to bend now? Wait, what? I don't understand. I mean, didn't didn't Amon like um he took people's bending through blood bending, right? If he took the bender's bending, I mean, he should still be able to bend, right? Sorry, I'm I'm just not sure I understand. A picture of Amon and he was about to take bender's bending. How he's supposed to bend now? Yeah, I mean, unless he's taking his own bending, but I mean, he's he was. I mean, I'm assuming you mean he's taking someone else's. So I'm not I'm not quite sure. Let's see, uh, give a donation, hold on. Also, I'm curious, Shogo, since you said your mom played Baldur's Gate, uh, what class was she? Just curious. Iron Piedmont donated and said, restart the clock, Baldur's Gate got mentioned. Why is it even matter? I'm gonna mention Baldur's Gate probably to the day I die, because you can replay the game so many times, so you'll probably restart in the clock a lot. 
But it says, jokes, <laughs> joking aside, you should give the Red Redemption 2 a try one day. It has RPG elements like Baldur's Gate and has a lot of great characters. I almost cried at the ending. Arthur Morgan is a good man, darn it. Um, I guess it depends. Like, do you get to, like, create your own character or do you just play as, um, like, one specific character that, like, like, that's given to you? I usually like to create my own characters, but if it's that great, I might consider getting it depending on how much it is. Let me, I'm just curious. Redemption 2. Where is it on Steam? Here it is. Red Redemption 2. Of course, I'm old enough to view this. Excuse you. 60 bucks? Eh. $60. $60. I know Boulder's Gate was $60, but Boulder's Gate holds a special place in my heart. You just want to self-insert. Well, it's an RPG, Mr. Shmi. That's the whole point of RPGs. It's a role-playing game. Or you get to make your own character. It was kind of cool to make your own OCs, you know? I actually, I I want to make like a, um, I kind of wanted to make like my own rogue character. Like, I kind of like picture like this dude with like, um, I wanted to like give him like pastel hair. Like I saw someone like do this cool hair in Boulder's Gate where like they, they like did like the highlights and it looked like really cool. I also finally downloaded some new mods. So like the dudes have more hair options and stuff like that. So yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. <clears throat> Let me see. Garrick Anderson said, Bender from Futurama. Oh, okay. Well, it's, well you said Bender's bending. So, like, I, I mean, I, there, I, there was no way I was going to make that connection, but oh. Well, yeah, if you took Bender's bending, Bender doesn't have any bend- Unless you meant, like, he can't bend down. Maybe that's what you mean. Maybe he can't bend- <laughs> he can't bend anymore? Like, bending down? Maybe. Grim- Grim donated and said, so you're telling me you're a loot goblin. So proud. Of course I'm a loot goblin. I take everything. I take everything I find. Unless, like, it's, like, a little dagger or something that's worth, like, only two coin. But, like, any armor, I always take any armor. Because they're at least worth 20. So, I mean, that adds up. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I should, I think I took a picture of it. I should show you guys. I have a picture of my, of, like, my travel chest. And there's, it's just so much stuff in there. So, like, towards the end, towards the end, they basically were like, yeah, like, once you go past this point, you can't take anything with you. And I was like, shoot, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to like sell everything cause like I won't be able to take it with me. So any, anything I didn't want, I just started selling it. I had like almost like 20,000 20, coin at the end of it. So no, no, it's, it's, I, I was like, man, I'm like, I have all this coin. I mean, so I was just, I was buying like any healing potion, any speed potion, anything I could find. Cause you know, I just didn't know what I was, what was gonna happen. Cyberman donated and said, I recommend Pal World. It's a fun survival gun game. Gun game? Wait, Pal World? I thought that, that that was like a, it was almost like a very like similar to Pokemon, right? Unless you meant fun. Maybe you meant fun. You just clicked on, uh, no, survival fun, survival. You said, no, you said gun game. Maybe there are guns in there. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Some of the, some of the Pokemon looking thing have guns, but, um, yeah, no, I've, I, I've seen that. I've actually considered getting it. I just haven't done so yet. Oh, that's cool. So she was a rogue and then switched to druid. Honestly, being a druid is super fun. I know it's one of the classes that people don't really pick a lot. Like, they, they show, like, a chart of, like, who picks what. Um... But no, I definitely the most picked race is a is a half elf, which is funny because I picked a half elf. But um, I know I picked a druid, and a lot of people don't pick druids. But it, being a druid's so much fun. You get you have the ability to talk to like all the animal characters. You can fit into tiny spaces without having to use like a sp you know like any spells. And once you get the owl bear, it's so useful. The owl bear is so much so useful. 
it like basically gives you a second life. It's it's pretty great. But anywho. Iron donated and said, in Red Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, you play as Arthur Morgan in the main story. In the epilogue, you play as John Martson, the protagonist of the first Red Dead Redemption game. Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel. Despite this, you can still customize outfits for them to wear you want, however you want. Huh. Yeah, I guess I'll, guess I'll have to think about it. I mean, I guess, like, I know it's more like of a, it's like a, I know the game's like set like in the, um, the good old cowboy days, correct? At least I, th I think that's what it is, because I know they're riding on horses. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. I mean, for it being, since I'm just not too excited about it, and it being like 60 bucks, I don't know if I'll ever get it. If I do get it, it'd probably have to be on sale. But, um, it looks interesting. I'm sure it's probably, I mean, the, 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 looking at it online, the anime, the, like, graphics are really well done. I mean, it looks really nice. So, definitely the graphics look good. But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get it if it goes on sale. And give it a try. <sighs> Garrick Anderson donated and said Bender was originally created to bend girders or metal ingots, etc. He somewhat stopped doing that after he found out the materials were for for the for dead booth <laughs> for the dead booth. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know much about Bender's uh, lore. I I've only seen like probably like two episodes of Futurama, probably. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Inept XIV has been a member for two months and said, "You make a argue. You make a great argument for a druid, but counterpoint, wizard has fireball. Hey, actually, we have fireball too. There's, I have a bunch of spell slots. I think you get up to spell slot six. I think it's five or six. I can't remember. I think I think you get one spell slot in, in spell slot six. But um, no, one of my spell slots. I had fireball too. So I guess in I, I maybe it's the subclass that I picked I don't know but I I always had quite a few my spell slots were I mean most of the time I was using some spell, some good old spell slots but I was it was like a good half and half I guess but um no actually I had fireball too I mean granted I'm sure with the um with the wizard class you probably have more spell abilities but um no I, I actually I had fireball I did have fireball. Maybe you should try Druid. You'd have your fireball and you can turn into animals. <laughs> oh no, did the static happen again? Gosh darn it. Why is it doing that? You know what? It's been, I, I probably, I don't know why. I always take good care of this cord. Like I don't bend it or anything and like halfway through it always ends up dying and i always try to buy a good cord too so that way but like then it does this static thing it happens in my audios too like that like static sound that you guys are talking about like and then sometimes i have to uh re-record stuff which is like really annoying so i guess i should, guess it just means i have to buy another one i just i just wonder why it happens because like i don't really bend this cord i kind of just you know it's weird has it stopped now Sorry that it's making static for y'all. I can try to like replug it back in and see if that helps. Um, Garrick Anderson donated and said, R RDR2 Online has a story and you can customize your own character and also see them in cutscenes. They don't talk much, but the silent type characters are cool. RDR2. Oh, online, the online version of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know they had an online version. The more you know. Grim donated and said, if you're after an RPG that is fun, Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, I've heard of that one too. Um, so many, so many to choose from. Ooh. There's like a... It's like a harpy. This lady looks like she has a bunch of, uh, like, feathers. Interesting. Hm. Is that a dragon I see? 
Well, obviously it says Dragon's Dogma, so there's probably dragons in the game, but anyways. Maybe a new mic? Maybe. It's typically short-lived. Really? I've had this blue Yeti for forever. I, I haven't, nothing's happened to it, unless it's just the lifespan. Maybe the lifespan just decides to die. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, maybe I'll just invest in a new mic. Maybe we'll get a new mic. I'm sure they're making blue, do they even sell blue Yetis anymore? Do they still sell Blue Yeti mics? Oh, they do. <laughs> They're selling pink ones now. Let's see. Let us see. Oh, I have like these cool... Well, I guess they're not called blue anymore. This says Logitech Yeti Premium. But it still, still says blue on the front. You know what's so funny? It says Blue Yeti, but they don't sell any blue ones. Like, it's like, come on. Come on. Yeah, maybe I'll just buy a new Blue Yeti microphone. Hey, oh, oh, there is a Blue Yeti blue microphone, but it's like, that's like 30 bucks more. I don't need it to be blue. Nah. Actually, where's the, where's the website? They should have an official website. I've been on it before. Hey, I'll look at it later. But yeah, maybe I'll just get a new mic. It's, 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 it's been a few years. I probably should invest. No, I mean the stack is short-lived. Oh. Well, either way, it's just weird. Like it, I keep on buying new, um, what's the word? New cords and I always try to take care of them, but like it still does the static. So like, is it the cord? Is it the mic? Maybe it is the mic. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll just buy a new one anyways, just because there's probably a better mic out there than the Blue Yeti. Um, or, they, or the versions they're making now are probably a bit better. Um, so, you know, we've expanded the channel. We need to expand our mics. Crimson Phoenix donated and said, I would personally suggest you play Horizon Zero Dawn if you want a really thrilling story. It's got the best story out of all games I've played, although no super custom character creation. Uh, but Horizon Zero Dawn? Oh, I've seen this game. Yeah, it looked kind of cool. I think it, it looks like very... I, I, I like any games that look very, like, nature-y. You know what I mean? Like, that organic look is always very appealing to me. So. Yeah, no. Actually, I, I was considering possibly playing this game. Because I thought it looked really interesting. I know a lot of people were complaining about the main character of the game. And I was like, dude, chill out. <laughs> Why are you so mad? I thought she looked really cool. But no, um, yeah, I've actually, I've actually, uh, I think I put this game on my wish list just so I wouldn't forget about it because I thought it looked interesting. So yeah, I forgot that that's what it was called. Um, Grim donated and said, Druids are full casters, same amount of spell slots as wizards. The only difference between the two is versatility of spells and their class abilities. Ah, uh, okay. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that. The more you know. Garrick Anderson donated and said, there's an idea for our red RDR2 um, GF. Have her be a moonshiner, bounty hunter, a wild west type of gangster, like Italian mafia, or a cowgirl treasure hunter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been wanting to do, like, cowboy or, like, southern accent stuff, but, like, not until I perfect it, man. Like, I'm not gonna embarrass, my <laughs> I'm not gonna embarrass myself like that. But, um, no, no, yeah, I, I, I definitely have wanted to uh, do something like that, so... If I can perfect it, I will definitely do it. Okay, I do, uh, I think it's uh, JJ Kaiju, right? I think that's what it is. JJ Kaiju donated and said, any plans to make more arcane videos? Jinx, Vi, or Caitlyn? Also, there's 38 Godzilla movies in total, 33 Japanese and five American films. Holy crap. I mean, come on, you guys. That's like, <laughs> I think you're good. That's, that's too many films, but um, uh, no, I, I do, I do, I think when season two of Arcane comes out, I think I will make some audios of uh, Arcane again. Um, 
maybe the new season will inspire me to do something. I just, since I've done like 14 videos of Jinx, I think there's 14, I kind of just got burnt out. But, um, you know, uh, I think I can get some inspiration or more oomph to make her again uh, once the new season comes out. Because I heard that's coming out this year, I think. Um, so yeah, no, I, I don't have any current plans, but I do want to make more of her. I, I do want to expand on that. I think they'll be really fun. Oh, wait, hold up. I uh, missed a few. Oh, I actually missed Severin's donation. My bad. He's actually some... I you know what? That's so weird. His wasn't showing up before. Before it was... It went Shogo and then Iron Piedmont. But so now his, his got like wedged in between those two. That's weird. Maybe it did not fully load, but let's let us see. So he wants less to say. He wants less to say. Uh, hold on, I think there's supposed to be a period here. I'm just trying to read everything to make sure I understand so that way it does. I don't, you know, uh, butcher it too much. Um, let me get some water first. My throat's really dry. <clears> throat> Alright, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do Celeste. <clears throat> well, I love garlic. I'll be right back, and don't you try to leave. And then Cyberman says. Okay, Celeste, and then it says, Le leave Cyberman, wait, leave Cyberman manages to cut free with a spork on the floor and jumps out of the window with Celeste waiting outside. And Celeste says, now, oh, nice try, now get back in there. And Cyberman says, dang, <laughs> why are you trying to leave, Cyberman? I thought you liked Celeste. She's literally probably making you dinner, and then you had to leave. Bruh. <laughs> Shogo donated it and said, I've been streaming the original Tomb Raider game recently and I found out it's actually a Katori simulator. What? She wears shorts, a tank top, and even has a ponytail, even in the snow. If you ever play, you'll feel like you're playing yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. Okay, yeah. I've, I've seen people say that before too, about how the character is similar to Tomb Raider because her t tank top's kind of like, like a teal, bluish color. <laughs> That's funny, that's cool. Didn't they like, weren't they making like a live action of that or something? Or like, no, no, it's not live action. They're making an animated series of that or something. I've heard people talking about that. Um, but no, that's cool. I'm, I'm, it's cool you're playing Tomb Raider. I've, I've never played it though, but it looks, it looks really fun. Iron Piedmont donated and said, both Red Dead games pretty much take place between the Wild West was pretty much gone. The first game taking place in 1911 and 1914, and the second game taking place between 1899 and 1907. The plot is pretty much about outlaws sur surviving in a world that has no need for them anymore. Huh. Interesting. The more you know. Wicked Penguin donated and said, something to brighten the mood. <laughs> Here, let me make sure my desktop is muted before I blast your guys' eardrums. Okay, good, it's muted. <clears throat> Let us see what this is. Oh, Chris Farley. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll, I'll definitely hear. I'll add it to my watch later. That's hilarious. I'll definitely see. <laughs> so I says to the guy, I says Chris Farley. You know, I think I remember seeing that. Gosh, I, I, I haven't watched all his clips. Um, but that does sound familiar. I'll have to watch that later. <laughs> do, 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 do. Laura Croft. Yeah, you're okay. That's her name. All right. I saw it in the chat. Excuse me. Let me scroll up a bit. Uh, here we are. Ty donated and said, if you like to play a great R, uh, JRPG, JRPG game, I advise 
Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth. Or if you want to play a funny game, try South Park Snow Day. <laughs> oh, I haven't played any of the South Park games, but I heard that they're actually pretty fun. Um, but no, yeah, that's, yeah, I've, I've heard of Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth. I know there's quite a few Final Fantasy games, so I'm not sure exactly which this one is. But, um, the graphics look really nice. Cloud in his fluffy hair. But, um, yeah, no, I've, uh, South Park Snow Day, I've heard of that. Is that, I'm assuming that's a totally different game than the South Park, uh, like, Stick of Truth and stuff like that. Huh. <laughs> There's Princess Kenny. I love that. But yeah, no, yeah. Thank you for the recommendations, Ty. Um... Cyberman donated and said, did you see my Kofi yet? Also, you make good cowgirl. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I just saw it. I just found it. I just saw it. Indeed I did. Indeed I did. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Grim donated and said, well, got to bounce until next time. Love y'all. Bye. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, Grim. I hope you have a great Easter or, uh, you know, your holiday, the rest of your lovely weekend. I know you said you didn't get much time off, but I hope you get to rest. <clears throat> uh, Garrick Anderson donated and said, you know, you, you'd be a great rattling if you are going to, for thief, a great rattling. If you're going for a thief class, they're a race and 40k basically space hobbits who are excellent snipers and scroungers. Huh. Wait, is rattling the race? Rattling must be like, uh, I'm assuming it must be the space hobbits you're talking about. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about like, I know like uh, the expansive world of different races to play in RPGs, but that's pretty interesting. Christopher James donated and said, Good evening from the UK. I hope you're okay. Is it okay for a 50-year-old male to ask a 20-year-old female to make a custom video for them? Um, well, actually, you don't know my age, first of all. Um, but um, actually, I don't make custom videos. I do offer custom audios on my Kofi. Currently, my, custom, uh, my commissions aren't open. But um, if you follow me on Kofi, uh, it should notify you when the slots will open up. Um, obviously I only do, uh, suitable for work audios, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I guess technically it's almost like the videos that I make, they're, uh, pretty similar. The only thing is there's just no image because it's just an audio, so, um, but I mean, hey, I don't mind, I don't mind what age people are. I mean, usually it's preferably, you know, adult, but, you know, I mean, if you want a customized audio, you know, and it's all suitable for work and it's all good, then I really don't mind. So yeah, if you want to if you want a commission, just follow me on Kofi, and it should notify you when slots open up. I offer I think what do I offer right now? I think I offer five minute audios and then eight to ten no no five five minute audios and then ten to twelve minute audios. I think I think that's what I offer. Cyberman donated and said part of the short story she still wants. <laughs> Celeste does not want to eat anyone. She is not a like cannibal, okay? I mean, technically she's a dragonborn, but no, she does not eat people. <laughs> she will eat. She, I think her favorite. What was her favorite food? I think I said what her favorite food was before. But yes. She can do more interesting suitable fork audios. I speak from experience. Yeah, it's it's a bit. I don't have to like be so scared when I do commissions. You know what I mean? Like for for YouTube, I have to like word things very specifically because YouTube is like it's been kind of throwing the hammer down on me recently. Um, but yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you say anything that like I won't do, I will let you know. You know, you can ask questions about what I will and won't do. But it's like. If it's suitable for work, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty safe. Oh, we have a do donation on Kofi. Hold on, hold on. Do 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 do. 
<sighs> Let me see. Um... Mainly, it just allows me to, like, like, cuddle audios are so scary to do these days because, like, YouTube gets really angry <laughs> about cuddling, I guess. Which is kind of, like, funny because, like, you sh with the stuff that YouTube has on here, sometimes I'm just like, bro, like, I don't do anything bad. What are you talking about? Lee Blackwolf donated and said, Just a little heads up in Red Redemption 2, you have to kill some animals, even my beloved wolves. No! Also, Mama Tori showed y'all's cards, and I guessed all of them right, lol. Happy Easter, Katori, and love the new background. Well, thank you, Lee. Um, but no, I don't want to kill any wolves. No! I guess it depends, like, if they're attacking me, then, like, I'm gonna defend myself. But, like, if I have to hunt them, like, that ain't happening. Like, I will fail the quest. That is not happening. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Man. But, no, uh, thanks for the heads up. Iron donated and said, You don't have to have a southern accent to do a cowgirl video. In real life, people who settle in the Wild West just had the accent of where they came from. Um, which includes Ohio. <laughs> also, sorry for rambling, but Red, Red Dead so much. I love it as much as you love Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah, you know, so I mean, yeah, see Iron C. I I know before you were complaining about Baldur's Gate's price, but if you love it so much, it's just worth it, right? So I think, I think they're about the same price, except I know that you said that for some reason it cost more on a certain website versus another, like it was like five bucks more or something, which was kind of weird. But, um, but yeah, if you love the game so much, you know, it's just definitely worth it. So I get it. I, I love Baldur's Gate. So, I mean, I can talk about it forever. <laughs> uh, Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, Katori Yans, Shogo. So I guess, like, this is going to be a video about Shogo. Is this, like, Mr. Bean sleeping in a hallway? Oh, it's him trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> oh, no. Poor Shogo. I don't, I'm hoping I'm, I'm not making anybody too tired. At least I hope so. Granted, this is supposed to be a cozy night, so maybe people are watching this to fall asleep, you know? Hopefully I'm not being too loud either. I really am not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going... I'm not sure which way I'm going, but... Uh, Lee Blackwolf donated and said, Also, if you want an amazing story and a beautiful atmosphere of the world of Japan, petting foxes and beautiful music of an open world, Ghost of... Tushima is an absolute must play. Probably the best game you'll ever love story-wise sure is mine. Ghost of Tushima. I've not heard of that one. You know me, I'm always checking out the graphics first. <laughs> I don't know why. Just, I, I can only enjoy a game that has like extremely good graphics unless it's like stylized, I guess. But oh yeah, it looks good. He's, I see all I see is this dude standing by a rock by like a very like sunset very picturesque That looks interesting. Yeah Cool cool the ghost of Tsushima <laughs> Excuse me She sounds like she's open to negotiations. Kokiri, I'm not open to negotiations. I've already set ground rules for myself that, you know, you just, you know, all you gotta do is ask and I'll tell you yes or no. I'm just scrolling down, making sure I didn't miss any donations. I think... Uh, let's see. Garrick Anderson donated and said, Just finished Campfire Cooking in Another World anime. Really great and wholesome. There's a character that kind of sounds like Neko and has a softer voice, though. Huh. Neko, but with a softer voice. I guess Neko's voice is very nasally. Right, because she's like up here. So I guess if her voice was a bit softer, it'd be right about here. A bit more of a softer-esque, wispy sound. <laughs> we should do a stream where like, I try out different voices. Honestly, I still don't. There might be some new ones we haven't found yet. 
epointer226 donated and said, imagine you do Easter Bunny audio tomorrow. <laughs> That'd be fun. I just, I, I sadly, I do not have time to do an audio tomorrow, but I actually, I do have a bunny audio. It's not an Easter Bunny audio, but there is a bunny girl audio that I think I did last year. So that's out there somewhere. <laughs> it's basically, I think if I remember correctly, I think it's your bunny girlfriend who's jealous of your dog because you, <laughs> you love your dog so much and you like, you know, like spend time with it and stuff. She literally got jealous of it, which is kind of hilarious, but that is, that is that. I'm pretty sure that was the premise of the audio. Oh, ow, dang it. I was re- I sit like crisscross cross applesauce just because that's just how I always sit on any chair. Or like I sit with my knees up. And of course, guess who bumps their foot? I heard, let me check on Kofi real quick before I start uh, reading through chats. Just make sure I didn't miss any donations. Uh, I don't think I missed any. I think we're good. All right, cool. Just wanted to make sure because I know like I tend to miss things sometimes by accident. Okie dokies. Um. Oh no, not the fictional wolves. Yes, the fictional wolves. I will never do it. I love... I love, like, like, my owl bear that I have, I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it. It is mine. It is my baby. <laughs> Fictional or not, it is mine, and I named it. Even though you technically can't name it, which I was kind of mad about. What microphone am I using? I'm using a blue Yeti, which I might be replacing soon, but yes. Tori took negative 10 HP. Yeah, it really felt like 10 HP just left my body. <laughs> I was like, I did the same thing where I clenched my fist. I was like, oh man. I'm like, oh, gosh dang. Torn to shreds, Mr. Smee, my owlbear baby loves me. It loves me. He says that I smell good, but he would never bite me. That's literally what it says. The owl bear says, you know, you smell good, but I will not bite you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. If I could let it happen, I would sleep next to my owl bear every single night. Sadly, the game does not allow that, but that is what I would do. That is what I would do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to make anybody tired. I'm talking about the wolves you refused to kill. Oh, I, since I talked about the owl bear, I wasn't sure. Well, I said I wouldn't kill the wolves unless they start attacking me. I mean, obviously, like, if it starts attacking me when I'm not attacking it, then yeah. Like, I gotta defend myself. But, like, you know, if I'm just supposed to be, like, you know, if they're just like, ah, yes, here's your quest, go into the woods and, like, go, like, go off some wolves, like, I'm not gonna do that. Well, I know you know about the owlbear, Mr. Smee. I wasn't sure what you meant. That's why I was confused. But I still defended my baby, because the owlbear is my baby. Doesn't matter who says it. But, um, but, uh, no, I guess it just depends on what the quest is. Obviously, if I'm walking in the woods and the wolves try to, like, <laughs> try to murder me, then I'm not gonna let that happen. So, just depends. Just depends. I'm making people yawn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, I, the thing is, is like, I, I could not fall asleep right now, but like, I just yawn. Like, I guess it's my body's coping mechanism to like, keep me awake. <laughs> Garrick Anderson donated and said, there, there is a downside to Red Dead Redemption 2. No undead nightmare story. Wait, no undead? Nightmare Story fans are pretty aggravated about that, so I am- so am I, who doesn't want a zombie outbreak in the Wild West. I guess it depends. I mean, if they're going for more like of a realistic Wild West take, that's probably why they didn't put the zombies in. It's probably meant to be more like of a non-fiction, right? Like something that could have happened in the Wild West in the ye old days. 
but um that could be a reason why they didn't do it but i guess it just depends on you know what story they wanted to tell I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to make anybody too tired. <laughs> no, 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 show was trying to hold on. <laughs> it's like my eyes are closing. I'm sorry. Give warm tea. Thank you, Mr. Smee. You know, I wish that there were like commands. You know, that's something, you know what? YouTube has to get with the times, okay? If they want to be a platform for everything, you know, they're having their YouTube shorts, which is kind of being like TikTok and they're, you know, streaming and videos. Like, come on, guys. I mean, I'm sure YouTube could at least give us some commands. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. They can do it. You know, it'd be cool to implement more stuff. At least I think so. Oh, also here, I can show you guys something. Uh, hold on. I was working on, um... Where is it? Also, uh, some good news for you guys. The, uh, little standees and, uh, trading cards uh, are in production right now. So hopefully they will be done soon. I'm excited to see how they turned out. Uh, other than that, where is it? Here it is. What's oh, why it's so tiny. Hold on. Hope, let me see if I can bring this up without it crashing. Gosh, it should be fine. It's just one little file on Clip Studio. It shouldn't kill anything. Let me zoom in. I kind of have to zoom in in order for you guys to see it. Here it is. I made a little pixel girl and I want to I want to animate it. It's it's very difficult. It's more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um but uh, I want to use it as like a stream alert. So here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's really cute. Uh, hold on. Do, 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 do. Let, me, let me get rid of this. We don't need this up anymore. Go away. You're too many tabs. Uh, do, 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 do. Stop it. Get out of here. This is the performance. This isn't me trying to add something. I need... Let me add it, dang it. This is not the adding screen. What? What is this? Is it seriously not gonna let me add it? I X'd out of the... Get out. Like, close. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I can. For some reason, when I'm trying to bring up a new source... Wait, maybe I can click and drag? Can I click and drag it in? Let's try that. Hold on. Hold on, maybe we can outsmart the system. Can we click and drag this in? Will it allow me to do that? Because for some reason it keeps on bringing up the performance report, even though I... Okay, can I get rid of it now? Stop freezing up! The performance metrics are literally frozen and they won't leave. Fine. All right, let's just, let's just see if we can... Can we just drag that in? Aha! Yes, we can! Sorry, I didn't mean to be so loud. It just wasn't working. So this is like the progress on it. I made uh, kind of like a little chibi. Um, she's actually probably more pale now that I'm looking at her. I probably made her too pale. We can always change that. Um, but um, but yeah, she's kind of like a chibi that's uh, gonna be uh, like, I want her to jump or like, you know, at least that's what I originally wanted. I don't know if I'll be able to get her to jump because I'm not used to animating pixels. Um, but I want this to like be a stream alert so like it shows up when like someone donates or uh, like subscribes or something like that So uh, yeah, that's what that is what I wanted. Oh, <gasps> no, I put her part on the wrong side Oh, I can flip it. It's okay. We can flip it. I just realized the parts usually on the other side. Oh, well, it's just it is what it is um, But yeah, that's that's what that is what I'm going for because I, I feel like st I've seen people stream alerts and I've seen a lot of pixel ones and I thought like, oh, like that would be cute to do, you know, and so that is what I'm trying to do, if it will let me. Or I guess if myself will let me because I've never animated pixels before, so that'll be very interesting. Let's see. 
Egrich donated and said, Neko and Egrich. Okay. So Egrich hands Neko a note and Neko says, Are you giving me your number? It says, you could reach me at any time. Why? If anyone gives you any, any guff, give, what the heck is guff? If anybody gives you any guff, give me a call. I'll kill him for you. Oh my gosh. I don't think Neko would ever call you because she'd be too scared. She'd be like, oh my gosh, I don't want you offing anybody. Well, I, I'm sure she'd appreciate you wanting to protect her, Egrich, but I think she wouldn't be too afraid to use your number. Um, no, no, I'm glad you guys, uh, I'm glad you guys like the, uh, uh, little pixel art. I wonder, I think I have, I have another, hold on. Oh crap, I already X'd out of the file, Never mind. But I have one where uh, I was trying to like have an in-between and I'm just not sure how good it looks, but. So the animation might be a little jonky, I'm gonna be honest, but um, I'll, I'm gonna give it my best shot, so. Yeah, you know. Okie dokies. Hope this is the wrong tab. Hold on, here we are. Wicked Penguin, or Babe, donated and said, Oh, so Celeste says, Shoot, chat, oh, chat is falling asleep. Oh, let me say that again. Shoot, chat is falling asleep. Don't worry, I got this. Necro, what are you, wait, Necro, what are you planning? And then it says Neko, and then it's a link to what? What is Neko doing? Oh. <laughs> Playing a trumpet? Yeah, I could see Neko doing that. Just like blasting in people's ears. Honestly, Neko would probably be the best alarm clock. You know what I mean? Like any other cat that likes to wake you up early in the morning by like jumping on you in bed, like that would be her. It adds to the appeal. I don't know, Mr. Smee. If it looks a little jonky, I'm gonna th I'm probably gonna be really disappointed in myself. But um at least at least it's at least even though it's a little jonky, each frame should look cute, so. It'll be something. But yeah, here, let me, I'll get this off so it's not like in the way. Um, but yes, yes, that is what I've also been working on. Garrick Anderson donated and said, do you ever watch the Cartoon Network bump compilation videos? What? Bump? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like when they were in like the city? Like the Cartoon Network city? Oh yeah, I've watched that a million times. It says, you know, where it shows characters going up about in the city. They're living. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know they were called Bump. That's interesting. Um, but I knew it was Cartoon Network City. That's usually what I look up when I look for it. But um, no, I, 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 I love that. That was, as a kid, to see that, that would somehow it like, it like, it opened up my mind to like the fourth dimension or like it was just so pleasing to see like wow like all these cartoon shows like live together in this universe like that is so cool like I, it just blew my mind every time i saw it it was just so fun to see and it's really sad that like that i feel like that was like the renaissance of cartoons like during that time when they had those commercials you know powerpuff girls edda and Nettie, you know um just all those you know kids next door just all those cartoons like were just it was like the golden age, you know, and now it's like over, which is really sad. Or Foster Home for Imaginary Friends, like Chowder, like stuff like that. Like, well, I don't think Chowder was ever in the city. So maybe that was a bit later on, but, but still like that was, that was, you know, or like, or like at the end of each uh, show or in the, or in like the commercial, they would do that. Um, they would do that thing where like it showed like the Cartoon Network logo and then it would like expand. And then there'd be like this like red background and then you'd see like an animation of like some characters like either i know like for foster's home for imaginary friends it was blue jumping on top of mac it, it was just like a black and white animation you could see some of the uh pencil not pencil markings but yeah like kind of like pencil markings like you could see like where they sketched out like the, the the lines on the faces i don't know just something about it was just so fantastic like that time of cartoon network was just great I could probably I could probably do like a whole like presentation on why that era of cartoons were just fantastic, but I will not waste y'all's time. <laughs> but anywho. Oh, so we have a role play with Neko and Rebel Girl. Alright, let's see if we can do this. <clears throat> Alright, crap. I think Rebel Girl isn't as 
her, her voice is kind of gruff a little bit. <clears throat> so, okay, so Rebel starts out. <clears throat> All right, here come the dropships. Get ready, everyone. It's time to shake the old days. It says everyone looks at Neko. What? That's not something people say. It says context. <laughs> Thank you for the context. When I hear of dropships, I just think of, uh... What is this? Oh, okay, so it's, it's a quote from these game. It's a quote from Dead Water Gaming? Huh. Never heard of him before. <laughs> it's time to shake the old days. <laughs> Honestly, Neko would probably be known to be saying a bunch of random stuff that people wouldn't understand. Oh, Tyrion Draken has been a member for 16 months and said, have I missed anything? Um, I mean, we basically just chatted about random stuff, you know, Baldur's Gate, yawning, me trying to reach up to get distilled water, uh, just, you know, stuff we're doing for Easter, things like that. Not too much, I don't think. Um, I did show, uh, you know, I, if you didn't see a couple seconds ago, but I showed, like, I'm working on a pixel, uh, e uh, like, animated, uh, emote thing for stream alerts, so that was something I did. But yes, yes. Haven't made any big announcements or anything, so nothing, nothing too big. They donated and said, by the way, I'll stop trying to interpret Masternode's donations. It was anxiety induced and wasn't fun anymore. Sorry, not trying to ruin the mood, just wanted to give that info. It's okay, you don't have to interpret anything. I mean, I'll just interpret it the way I interpret it. Like, there's no issue there. Um, I, I was never, in Thane, I was never fully relying on you to interpret it. Like, don't worry. I know before you said you would, so, like, I always made a joke, like, ah, oh, Thane's our interpreter. But yeah, like, you, you obviously, you know, I mean, I just read it and I take it at face value. So, like, no worries. You don't have to get involved at all. He is just quite a character. Cybern Man donated and said, Okay, to sell the short story, Celeste wants Chibi magic in cybern and chibi cybern by turning him into a stew but chibi cybern doesn't like that so he must escape celeste is best girl it's all part of the fun she's not that kind of carnivore okay relax also great job on the pixel art do me next um well yeah no i mean like well i wonder if there's a different way she can get the magic you know versus having to literally eat you even if she wanted the magic i don't think she would Shogo donated and said, I wanted to look nice for my next ASMR video, but wasn't sure what to wear. But then I remembered you always know what to wear. You're a fashionista. So I sent two different outfits to your DMs, was hoping you could help me decide what to wear. I'm not a fashionista. Where'd you get that idea from? Bro, I definitely don't look at fa like a fashionista right now. I'm like literally, I'm actually in an Anya shirt that is so big, it's like a dress. And my hair is like in a ponytail and it's kind of a mess. Um, I always like cooler colors, so maybe go with the green, the green shirt. I like cooler colors, so yes. Although I do like the blue necklace better, or like it has like a blue charm on it, like a blue charm. I'm not sure what that is. Or, uh, I don't know. Honestly, e either, either necklace is fine, um, but I do like the green shirt better. Like my own personal taste, I just prefer greens and blues and purples. But yeah, no, wear whatever you like. Honestly, it's you're dressing for the part. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like, the thumbnails I draw, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't look like that every day. Um, but, uh, you know, you kind of want to pick an outfit that, you know, matches what you're doing. So, like, obviously, if it's, like, a cozy audio, sometimes it's, like, a sweater. Or, obviously, if it's, like, a tomboy, it's usually, like, a tank top. Stuff like that. You gotta dress for the part. Just because you're currently dressed like a hobo doesn't mean you don't make neat outfits. Okay, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Okay, you made a point. 
Derek Anderson donated and said, my favorite bump was Fred from Scooby-Doo talking cars with mega XLR characters. And one of them tries to pick up Daphne and Fred challenges them to race. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one yet. Um, I'll have to watch another compilation. I've watched quite a few of like the Cartoon Network City, but I don't think I've seen the one where um, Fred challenged somebody to a race. That's new to me. So I'll definitely look that up. Oh, Ty, thank you for the rose. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let me see. Tyrion Draken uh, donated and said, have you seen the uh, Grimm show? Oh, the show, oh, we mean Grimm, The Adventures of uh, Billy and Mandy? Yeah, I love The Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That's, uh, oh, The Grimm Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I don't know, it, it's obviously a very odd show. Like, I can see why some people just, like, aren't into it. But I don't know why. That comedy was really fun for me. I actually really enjoyed it. I know I definitely love to check out the compilations for sure because I have not seen that one yet. <clears throat> this talk about Cartoon Network reminds me of the MMO they made, Fusion Fall. Oh man, I forgot about that. I saw commercials for that game. I've never played it, but I, I know, isn't that where they made like Dexter like look a little older? Like he looked like a cool scientist? At least that's what I think. It's been such a long time, but no, I remember that. What's your favorite dress you ever made? Huh, that's a good question. One of my most favorite dresses I've ever made was, gosh, I don't know. I made a dress, um, no, I don't know, maybe not that one. I made a few dresses. I, I like, I made a dress that was supposed to mimic like, I think they're called Charlotte. Charlotte or something. I can't remember the exact like designer. They're a smaller designer. They're not like a big designer or anything. They're just like a, you know, kind of like a little, like smaller business. Um, and they make these really cool dresses and they're tool dresses. And I wanted to make one that was similar and I wanted to wear it in the snow. So I made it and I like it, but it's still not like, I still, there's still a lot of things I need to fix about it. I think the dress that I made that was the most, like it was a dress that was well done was I made this, um, I made this dress that was based on Jinx and uh, it was it came out really well. The only problem is, is I put paint on it, like I painted it, cause you know, I figured she would, you know, make it look all like, you know, like she'd paint it. Um, but I, uh, I had it folded and because I just didn't hang it up because I was lazy and I, but anyways, um, since it was folded, the paint did not like the folding and it's a bit crinkled. So I don't know how I'm gonna straighten out this dress. <laughs> So that's a bit disappointing, but. But yes, 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 yes. That's probably one of my favorite dresses I made. Well, no, I'd say yeah. But, um, mm, now I'm thinking. I don't know. <laughs> I'll say that one for now. Otherwise I'll be thinking about it forever. Let me see. Tyrion Draken donated and said, I was referring reality TV I was referring reality TV I was referring to the reality TV show where a with where a detective finds out he is a grim and he solves Wesson related crimes. Oh, so, sorry, since we were talking about um, Cartoon Network, I figured that's what you were referencing, but no, I've, I've never seen that show. I've never seen that show. Let me see. Uh, Garrick Anderson donated and said, ah, Billy and Mandy, so many laughs 
um, funny one I remember is Billy takes care of school mascot and rival school called Rough City Booty Heads come to take it. <laughs> Wait, what? Takes care of school mascot. Oh, okay. Wait, isn't that the hamster? Didn't he take care of a hamster, right? Wasn't that it? Something like that. But no, I. it's been a while since I've watched um, Billy and Mandy, but no, I did like it, but... Yeah, sorry, Tyrion. I didn't realize you meant, like, a show called Grimm. Like, I, I didn't realize, but no, I have not seen it. Man, I think I remember... I think the one of the funniest things I remember from Billy and Mandy was, like, Erwin's mom was an actual mummy, and then Billy was like, wait, if she's a mummy, then... He's like, yeah, and then Erwin's dad's like, yeah, it leaves a lot of questions that don't need answers. You know, a lot of things that don't need to be explained. Like, they just decided to, like, yeah, like, we don't... Like, even the show was like, yeah, we don't even understand how this is possible, but, like, we're just not gonna explain it. Or um, how Billy has like a son who's a spider. Like the spider said Billy was his dad because like, you know, I think he hatched and saw Billy first and then he just said he was his dad. It was just so funny. The whole show is just funny. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. So there are quite a few channels that upload old VHS tapes of Cartoon Network and other networks. True story. They're hours long, but let's be honest, the commercials were part of the old charm. I mean, Cartoon Network commercials were more, I think, entertaining to watch because they were like cartoony commercials, you know? Um, there weren't a lot of infomercials, in my opinion, from what I recall being on Cartoon Network. But, um, yeah, now I don't really have traditional cables, so, like, I don't see what commercials are on these days on Cartoon Network, so to speak. Um, mostly because I'm just not interested in the shows on Cartoon Network right now. Um, I think the only one I, I liked was Gumball. That was the most recent one that I actually liked. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to yawn. I don't want to make anybody too tired. <laughs> Eesh, not Jeff the Spider. Oh, come on, Kokiri. I like Jeff. Jeff the Spider. That's what he named him, right? Jeff the Spider. I forgot his name. I oh, just sweet. I felt always. I've always felt so bad for him. You know, like Billy would scream and like try to beat him up, like a scream, like a real like B the Billy screams were hilarious. But um, yeah. I always felt so bad for Jeff. <laughs> v spills the tea. Said, "How do you get good at ASMR?" Um, honestly, I really don't know. I didn't, like, do any, like, ASMR, like, practice before I started this channel. I kind of just gave it a shot. Um, this isn't, like, I know there's, like, ASMR channels that are more, like, just ASMR sounds. Like, you know, they're more, like, um, they're more, like, tingle ASMR channels, I suppose. Like, you know, like, they, they, like, you know, will make actual sounds with, like, their nails or stuff. Or, like, they solely, they only whisper and things like that. So... I don't know, I guess I've, I just kind of just did different voices and hoped that people would like the different, I kind of, you know, just I went based on what the audience wanted. So, um, a lot of my audios, I go more like in a lower octave when I speak because people tend to like the more deeper, like, uh, gruffer voice at times. But, um, yeah, you know, I just, uh, just gave it a shot and I just kept on doing it. You know, you're... You just see like what your target audience is, you know, like it seems like tomboy is a really <laughs> is a really big uh, theme among what I do so But yeah, you know, it's kind of like what you make of it like in that every ASMR, you know uh, it, Depending on if you're like ASMR a girlfriend ASMR channel or not um, You just gotta like kind of you know find your groove in what you want to do so yeah, no, I just, I've always liked kind of doing voice acting, so, uh, 
kind of just translated to this, I suppose, you know, just don't talk too loud. <laughs> Early on, um, you know, uh, I kind of like had to like mentally like be like, okay, like even though this character is excited or even though they're whatever, like you can't be too loud. Otherwise you're just gonna like make someone deaf, <laughs> you know, they're trying to relax and fall asleep usually, so. Tyrion Draken donated and said, Cartoon Network went downhill. Yeah, you know, I'm just not, yeah, I'm just not, not a fan of it too much anymore, which is really sad. That used to be my favorite channel, like always, it was always my favorite channel. I mean, I know Nickelodeon had some fun shows, but like Cartoon Network was it for me. Like that was the, that was the channel that I usually spent most of my time on in, when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try to, I tried to stop myself mid yawn, but now my body feels weird because it, now it like didn't finish the yawn and now it like doesn't know what to do with itself. Um, but it says, yeah, a yawn emote seems appropriate at this point. Yeah, I know. Actually, wait, there was another one that people wanted me to do. Wasn't it like a blankie one, like holding like a, like a, like wrapped up in a blanket, but what, what would a yawn emote look like? Like, what does that look like? I haven't seen too many yawn emotes. Like I tried to like look at like to like reference emotes and see like what people were doing. Um, let me see. Well, I guess they usually have like a hand in front or like their eyes are closed and they have like little tears. I guess, but like, would, would you guys really know that's a yawn emote? It kind of just looks like they're screaming because <laughs> it's like so, you know, just because the emote becomes so tiny, it's like you almost can't even notice. Um, uh, I guess you can kind of tell. Maybe. I wish the e I wish the emotes could look a little bit bigger, so that you guys could tell. Let's see. Cyberman donated and said, "Your work is the best art in any museum anywhere." <laughs> Uh, well, no museums have accepted it yet. Sad day. But, you know, maybe someday. Yeah, yeah, the hand, yeah, the hand over the mouth, like, tearing up, yeah, that, that like, I guess it does resemble Leon. But, um, but yes, yes, I'll try to put that on my to-do list, too. I know, I, I know people asked about the blanket one, too, and thought that would be kind of cute, because I know people, <laughs> whenever I yawn, they, like, pretend to tuck, tuck me in or whatever, so maybe we'll do something like that. We shall see whichever one gets made first. I guess I'll see which one's like, wait, I'll have to draw it out and see like which one like I can, which one looks better. But um, yeah. Garrick Anderson donated and said, Samurai Jack was also good. Loved it when he became a gangster and when he teamed up with the Scotsman tale of X49. Was really sad even though for Jack. Yeah, I, I've watched a bit of Samurai Jack. I just never really like, I don't know if it just wasn't, I think because it was on Adult Swim at the time. Um, and I just didn't watch too much of Adult Swim, so. I never really, I only saw like a few episodes. Like it just depended on if I caught the show or not. Um, so yeah, I don't know much about it. But no, I always thought Samurai Jack looked really cool. Uh, oh, hold up. Let me see. Do, 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 do. We have a donation on Kofi. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, the only reason I was scared of spiders as a kid was because the big scary spiders in the first episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Those things are frightening. Oh no. The big, what do those look like? Big scary spiders, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Let me see if I can look it up. Cow the cowardly dog. 
Oh, okay, I remember these now. Oh yeah, no, I, I, almost everything Kurds the Cowardly Dog was scary. So. No, I, I get you. I get you with that one. I think the one that creeped me one creeped me out most as a kid was the the that that mummy guy, the one that's like return the sled. Or um the one where Muriel like turns and she like gets possessed or something and like she was like in her bedroom and she was like all green. Like those were the two that creeped me out most as a kid. Um or was just a bit unsettling. Obviously when I rewatch it now, like it does, it's not anything, but like I remember those like creeping me out when I was a kid. I still love the show. I still loved it. Yeah, Curbs the Cowardly Dog was such a good show. I love- it was such an odd show, but it was just so great. I don't know why, I just loved it. I was just like, there's something about this little dog who was so scared all the time, but he still like did these things that like were scary, you know? Good for him. But, um... Oh, Toonami! I remember that, Garrick. Dang. That's so old. <laughs> Stupid dog, you make me look bad. Eustace. Man, Eustace is he's such a bad dude. But, you know. I remember the one episode where he, like, you actually saw, like, a bit of, like, a softer side to Eustace. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I know he was on the roof of the house. There was, like, a rain cloud following him, I believe. And I know he gave Courage his hat because for some reason he was like hallucinating and he saw Courage as a younger version of himself. And he's like, oh, you don't have a hat? You're going to get all wet from the rain. And then he gave him a hat, like almost as if like you just know that he didn't have a good childhood and that's why he acts the way he acts. So I don't know. I, I liked that episode as a kid. It was like enlightening or something. So. No, yeah. I don't know. There's just so, there, I feel like there's so many hidden messages in Courage the Cowardly Dog. I kind of like want to watch it as an adult and just see like what i mean like honestly it was just entertaining to see as a kid but like i'm sure there's like i'm sure i wonder if like i'll see things differently rewatching it because i haven't rewatched it in a long time <sighs> yeah kokri muriel was a saint uh but she was a brat as a kid i do remember seeing the episode where she kept on changing uh, when she wanted macaroni and cheese, and she'd be like, more macaroni, and then she's like, less cheese, and she's like, more macaroni and cheese, and she kept on going on and on, and then she's like, mom, and then at the end of it all, of like, courage, keep on remaking this macaroni and cheese, she's like, I hate macaroni, and he's like, <laughs> so done. Or like, she was running up and down the airplane, I remember that one too, she's going, Vrrr. she's making like that noise that she's running up and down the aisle. And then she falls, and then she's like, oh, that feels so good. I'm gonna blow chunks. I remember her saying that. Man, I want to watch it now. I remember all that. Uh, Garrick Anderson donated and said, Did you watch The Courage and Scooby-Doo movie special came out maybe two years ago? Um, no, I don't think I did. Uh, uh, Courage, Shaggy, and Scooby get along well. So happy about that. No, I haven't seen that. I didn't even know they did that. That's cool. I didn't know that came out two years ago. I'll have to check that out. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to, have to look at that later. Can we get a Muriel ASMR vid? Oh, good it. I can't know. How does she do her voice? She's like, Eustace? She has like a really interesting accent. I'm not even sure what it is. Like, what does she always say? She says, uh... What does she say? Like, what's like one of her lines that she always says? I don't remember, but I, I, as a kid, it's a bit easier to do her voice. Her kid voice is a bit easier to do than like her adult voice. But no, it, it's a cute show. I thought it was so funny when they made her a kid. <laughs> she was a cute little kid. This little puffy white hair. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what Muriel would always say. I can just all I all I hear her saying is courage. Like that's the only thing. Oh, it's Scottish. Dang, that's always hard. Man, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to see. <laughs> oh, 
hold on, we have a Kofi donation. It says, as I quote, Wicked Penguin or Bobby said, the episode you're talking about was the cursed of sh the curse of Shirley. Shirley cursed Eustace when she when he was mean to her. Oh wait, isn't Shirley that little like she's wearing like that purple cloak and she looks like a little like dog with pointy like she's green. She has like little pointy ears. She has like an earring. She looks like a, one of those fortune tellers. That's Shirley, right? But it says, Shirley cursed Eustace when he was mean to her. Shirley was one of the nicest characters to Courage, right behind the hunchback of nowhere in Bigfoot. The curse of Shirley. I think I know who she is. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like the little fortune teller looking lady. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, she had the little cloak and then she had the, yeah, the pointy ears. I remember. I remember. Aw. I'm glad I remember. I'd be really disappointed if I didn't. Do, 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 do. The quote I remember is, Courage, you know I can't hear without my glasses. I remember that. <laughs> Dang, man. That show was something. She tried to do a seance for Eustace's dead brother. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that how she got possessed? Maybe, maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I apologize. I do not mean to yawn. I really, I don't know why. I don't even know why I'm yawning. Like, I'm obviously not going to go to sleep, like, right now, so I don't know why. I'm just a wee bit tired. Do, 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 do. Return the slap. When I was younger, I did not know what he was saying. I just heard, ah, da, 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 and I was like, what is he saying? I thought he was, like, speaking a different language, and then... Somehow, I must have rewatched it a bit later, like when I was a little bit older, and I I finally realized what he was saying. <laughs> Tuck. I am tucked in. Actually, I'm already tucked into my own shirt. Like, I literally just, like, I'm like, I'm like a little, I'm like, literally, like, I have my knees up, I'm like in a little ball. And I just have all my limbs inside my shirt. For some reason, it's comfortable like this. I don't know why. Some people might think I'm just, like, too squished, but like, I don't know. I guess it's just totally, I'm totally chill. Totally chill like this. Alrighty then, let us see. Someone donated on Kofi. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said Shirley's Curse. Oh, is this a clip for it? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. She actually, um, Oh yeah, they always oh, slam the door in her face and then she got pie all over herself. Oh my gosh, that's a blast from the past. I forgot she had that instrument too. It sounds like a saxophone, but it looks like a, you know, just like a horn or something. So. <laughs> oh, Lonely donated and said, here's for your next coffee, cat. This should help with the yawning. Aw, thanks Lonely, I really appreciate it. I shall, I shall. I shall get some coffee. Some good old coffee. Some good old caffeinated coffee. Turtle mode? Yes, turtle mode. I guess I am like a turtle. I'm like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. If only I was a ninja. Granted, I will say Kuro Neko has called me a little like a like a little ninja like I think he's called me a ninja before, like little ninja of death before or something. Then he wanted to call me a gremlin and now he's calling me, what is he calling me now? He's calling me something else. I don't know. He's went through like multiple nicknames. <laughs> I don't really know anymore. Yes, Tyrone, I am not yawning. I am just merely breathing very slowly, obviously. I'm just breathing very slowly. But yeah, 
yeah, you know what? I think, we don't, what, what are you guys doing tomorrow for Easter? I don't think I asked you guys. What are you guys doing? Before time runs out on our stream, what are you all up to? Barracuda encourage the cowardly dog. Wait, was he actually bad? I thought he was good too. Wait, was the Barracuda bad? No, he's a good guy. The episode is centered around being perfect and he helps courage. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought he was good too. Sorry, I thought someone said he was bad. I was like, what? He gave him such good advice. It was good advice from the Barracuda. Which basically looks like a fish. <laughs> All right, sorry, let's see. Um, someone's like gonna eat a lot of candy. Someone's watching football. Oh, got some cousins coming over. Oh, someone else is going to a baseball game. So dad and dad and you just gonna chill. Aw, someone's working. Mr. Shmi's working. Oh, Echo's working too. Dang, some people be working. Family's coming over and we're watching movies and having raising canes? Raising canes? I don't know what that is. Taking care of my family's dog because she is sick. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Thane. Church and eating Easter candy. Ooh. Studying, finishing a new rock sling. Sleeping. Ooh. <laughs> Fooling around on the internet. <laughs> Visiting family. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad some people are doing some stuff. I'm sorry for who has to work and, and do other stuff. I'm sorry about that. I'm glad you guys are all, some people are relaxing and stuff. Yeah, I'm happy some of you guys are doing some stuff for Easter. Very, very good. We'll probably be doing the same too, you know, just relaxing and eating some food and stuff. Eating candy. But um, uh, as it is 8 o'clock, for all of you who do not know, um, I don't know if we have any new viewers today, but um, my mother likes to come down and say hello to everyone, so she's here to say hello. So hello everyone, I brought my tea down because of my throat is hurting as I told you in oh. chat, and my ear is hurting. And I'm eating a banana because Lee told me the banana will help my headache, so very well. What? Yep, that's what he said. What? He said bananas help headaches, so hey, I'm not going to not try it when we got bananas sitting right here. Well, I hope it works for you. I've tried everything for headaches and never had nothing ever worked for me. Have you actually ate a banana though when you had a headache? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you how it works. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, hello everyone. I was saying hello to all of you in chat, but let's see how many people I can say hello to right now. Yes. Hello, Wicked Penguin and Ty. I will say, since I do have to prepare for Easter tomorrow, I probably won't chat for too oh. much, so if and you want Thane to- And and Cyberman and Lee and Ethan and Shogo. But yeah, if there's anything you want to say, Mama, you may say it um, now. Well, I, I apologize again that I won't have any video out this week, but- which is Easter tomorrow. You know, it's Easter and things have been crazy. And um, thank you for everyone who made it to my stream yesterday. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for the people who have sent me birthday gifts, both on Kofi and um, from Throne and to the P.O. Box. You know who you are. Thank you so much. And I appreciate it. And I love them all. And um, you guys are great. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right we will read this donation on Kofi, and then i'll probably head off because i do want to prepare and make sure i have some things together for tomorrow she's gonna make us the blueberry cake yes i am mr one upon donated and said i'm sorry that this is late but i thought i could give you this of a link of a to a link a picture of mine has so happy late easter well thank you mr one upon thank you for uh What's making what? some artwork for easter it's just like the different uh cartoon network characters oh. <laughs> <It's cute. laughs> well thank you Jake and Finn. But yeah, y'all, I'll probably be heading off now uh, just because it's like 8 o'clock and I want to make sure I got some things just just, just together and, you know, uh, making sure I know I have what I need for tomorrow. 
and um you know because tomorrow's easter so but yeah i hope you guys had some fun chilling today you, you know um you know we had a bit of a different background which i don't know maybe we'll keep it it kind of looks more cozy does it feel more cozy to you guys do you want to just keep this you want to just keep this background um but while you're answering that uh as far as announcements there really aren't any uh you know uh as i said the merchandise is currently in production i'll let you all know when it gets shipped to me um and yeah other than that it's just gonna be you know usual week <laughs> usual week for us all yep saying you know what i'm i'm gonna do an egg hunt for them in the morning i've i've put candy in a bunch of eggs <laughs> and they're gonna have to work for their candy oh we're good hunters don't worry they are although usually every year one that's what i said there's always oh, one did you? yep, yep. Mm-hmm. uh mr one upon donated and said well goodbye good night katori and mama tori good night yes, mr yes. one upon Someone said, yes, keep the background. Good okay. night, everybody. We're keeping it? All right, we shall keep Thank it Thank you then. for your well wishes. All right, we will keep the background, y'all. And thanks so much for hanging out. And I will see you guys all this coming Saturday. See you later. Bye-bye, y'all. Happy Easter. Make sure to relax and Happy eat some Easter. candy. And for all of you who are working, I'm so sorry. I hope you get to eat some candy at least when you're done working. Have a little bit of fun. Don't forget to thank Jesus. If that is how you celebrate the holiday. <laughs> but anyways, um, good night, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Happy Easter. <laughs>